Is Johns Hopkins good for pre-med? For a school whose name is practically synonymous with medicine, asking if Johns Hopkins is good for pre-med can seem a little absurd. After all, the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine can count 16 Nobel Prize winners in medicine among their own alumni and its Center for Systems Science and Engineering built a COVID-19 global tracking map in January 2020. It seems like every ambitious pre-med's dream would be to stand on the shoulders of these giants, from the highly regarded academics to the endless opportunities for research and clinical experience, Johns Hopkins has a lot to offer, but it's not without its challenges. In this video, we'll give you an inside look at what makes Hopkins unique, the hurdles you might face, and whether it's the right launch pad for your medical school aspirations. Johns Hopkins isn't part of the Ivy League, but with its admissions rate just below 6%, it carries a similar level of prestige. Located in Baltimore, Maryland, its urban campus offers a dynamic environment rich with pre-med extracurricular opportunities. And while Hopkins has a slightly larger undergraduate population than some smaller institutions, it maintains a desirable 6 to 1 student to faculty ratio, ensuring you'll find a supportive learning environment. That support will prove extremely valuable as you navigate your pre-med prerequisites, major, and extracurriculars, especially since keeping your GPA as high as possible is necessary to have the best chance of entry into medical school. At Hopkins, courses are graded using the 4.0 scale you're likely accustomed to, but achieving A's here will be taxing. Hopkins is known as a demanding school, and with its average GPA among graduates hovering around 3.5, some students end up with lower averages than they may have at other highly prestigious schools. In contrast to places like Harvard, which has become known for its great inflation over the years, Johns Hopkins has a reputation for great deflation, although this will depend on your professors and your major. Speaking of courses and your major, there's no core curriculum at Hopkins, but there are foundational abilities requirements if you're a Krieger School of Arts and Sciences student, or distribution and writing intensive requirements if you're a Whiting School of Engineering student. Essentially, these are like gen ed classes covering subjects such as writing, social sciences, and humanities. However, engineering school majors are required to take a more STEM-oriented set of classes. At Johns Hopkins, many of your courses will easily fulfill medical school prerequisites. Beyond the required classes, you'll also have access to a wide range of electives to strengthen your application. For instance, while general biology courses with labs are required, you can enhance your academic profile by taking advanced courses like microbiology in your junior or senior year. If you're like many undergrads and are keen to do some intellectual exploring during your time here, you can choose one course each semester to take for a satisfactory or unsatisfactory credit, meaning it won't be included in your GPA. This gives you the freedom to branch out without becoming overly concerned about one or two classes, tanking your chances of med school acceptance. No matter what classes you choose, standing out to med school outcomes requires you to build a strong portfolio of extracurricular activities. At Hopkins, research is a central part of the university's mission, and as such, there are tons of opportunities to add groundbreaking projects to your resume. Start your search at the Hopkins Office for Undergraduate Research, where you'll find mentorship programs and even funding for independent research projects. The Bloomberg Distinguished Professor Summer Program offers students the chance to gain training and mentorship directly from participating professors of their choice. You'll then work within the professor's labs and research groups full-time for 10 weeks. Independent research programs like the Provost Undergraduate Research Award grant $3,000 to individual research projects in any field, but pre-meds may be especially excited about the Undergraduate Catalyst Award, which provides funding for early-stage independent projects seeking to improve human health. There are also research experience for undergraduates programs hosted at Hopkins each year that are funded by the National Science Foundation in diverse fields ranging from nanotechnology to medical robotics. What's more, the summer internship program offers experiences in biomedical or public health research. Aside from research, getting sufficient volunteering and shadowing hours at Johns Hopkins is also well within reach, thanks to student groups like the Johns Hopkins Pre-Medical Society, the Minority Association of Pre-Medical Students, and groups focused on public health and medical equity. The famous Johns Hopkins Hospital, located a few miles from the undergraduate campus, offers six-week observership programs for shadowing and the Hopkins Emergency Response Organization, a student-run volunteer emergency response team, provides an excellent way to develop leadership skills while training as an EMT. 
When it's time to prepare your medical school applications, you'll work with the Johns Hopkins Office of Pre-Professional Advising and its Health Professions Committee. They offer advising, workshops, and webinars when completing your applications. They'll also assemble your application packet, which includes up to four letters of recommendation collected by you and a comprehensive Johns Hopkins Committee letter. Johns Hopkins is widely celebrated for its excellence in medicine and public health, offering a wealth of opportunities for pre-meds to impress med school outcomes. But of course, the path of a Hopkins pre-med isn't without its hurdles. The demanding coursework can be intense and juggling your academic responsibilities with extracurricular activities might feel overwhelming at times. Making sure you're choosing the right opportunities for your situation to give you the best chance of getting into medical school can be daunting. In our more than two decades of experience getting students into medical school, we've guided many Johns Hopkins pre-meds with everything from course selection to crafting standout essays and acing the MCAT. If you're looking for personalized guidance throughout your pre-med years to help you succeed at Hopkins and beyond, we'd love to support you.